Yo, what is up guys? Tony here and for today I'm bringing you a special type of episode. So, if you guys don't know, I I'm a year 1 guardian. I've been playing Destiny since beta. Like I've put so much time into this game. I have a hunter, titan, warlock. I've played all of it. Like literally guys, I've played everything that this game has to offer. Like it's crazy. It's really crazy to think that it's been 3 years or some shit like this. And they finally announced and they showed Destiny 2. So I'm going to be giving you a few a series of videos explaining what the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere live stream did. So we're going to start off with the story, which I think is pretty cool from what we know of so far. We see Zavala going through hardships in a road to make the last um, to make the city, the city that we, we live in and to make the tower. So you literally see him like training from the ground up. He dies a lot and he gets resurrected because duh, he's a guardian, which is really cool. I really love that they show backstory on it because like it's just it's really cool. Like it's, it was one of those like fuck like this is crazy, you know, so I really love that. And fast forward to now and the Red Legion is attacking. The Red Legion is basically the cabal and its leader his name is dominus gall or like what the, whatever that guy said his name is he calls him gary you know so he attacks the city because he believes that he deserves the travel traveler's light and that the traveler chose the wrong people so he ends up taking our light away which is kind of fucking weird considering um we're born of light and we use our like light is everything to us we our supers are powered by our light so him taking our our light away kind of is kind of really weird for me because how the what the fuck do you do with it like shouldn't all the guardians just end up dying that's like that's what's getting to me because it's like he should be dead like we should all be dead Unless it's like, all right, I gave you life and then you can't resurrect anymore. Cool. But then they were, how, how can I use my supers? How can I use all this shit that I have to, that my, like, it's really weird. It opens a lot of questions. And in the process of all this chaos happening, the three vanguards end up disappearing to different worlds, the new worlds. So basically we have to find them. And I... I do have a little like story like of what each world is, but I'll save that for a different one where I'm at, when I'm bleh, where I'm explaining the world and whatnot. I'm gonna make these very short because it's very they didn't show us much. So my thoughts on the story personally, I I hate the idea that we're losing all our shit. I really hate it, but I understand why they're doing it because all the shit that they've announced that it's kind of new, quote unquote. They wouldn't want to do it with the new Destiny or the current Destiny because Destiny is it's failing. It really is. So with this, like, it's basically a reboot in my eyes. They're trying to get more people to get into it. So they're announcing a lot of new cool things, which I will be explaining in future episodes. So I will see you guys later. We're going to be talking about the worlds, basically the planets and whatnot, but also what you can do in the worlds. So I will see you guys later. Peace.